State officials say O'Neill Swanson's wife used her name on state paperwork to try to get a license to run this crematory here in Ypsilanti Township. She never actually got that license, but state investigators say somehow the Swansons purchased this place and ran it unlicensed. When state investigators and sheriff's detectives raided Tri-County Cremation Services in June, what they found inside was like something out of a horror movie. Photos taken by Ypsilanti Township officials obtained by the seven investigators show leaking cardboard cremation containers, plumbing system hazards, structural damage, and mold. Inside the crematorium, state records show there were at least 55 bodies, some stacked too deep in cremation containers. Inspectors say they saw maggots dropping out of one of the containers and discovered the body of someone who had died in December of 2018. To make matters worse, state records show most of the bodies were not embalmed and the thermostat on site was set to 78 degrees. He was um, unrecognizable and it just makes me sick that they did that to him. Sorry. Kristen Schmidt's dad, Ronald, died on May 16th. He was very loved. <laughs> we miss him. Kristen says when she contacted a company based in Troy called Comfort Cremation Services, she never realized the man who sold her the cremation package had previously lost his mortuary science license. She also did not know Comfort Cremation Services had an assumed name with the state linking it to Tri-County Cremation Services in Ypsilanti and a man named O'Neill Swanson II. And we went over everything with O'Neill. Swanson. I thought it was on the up and up. They really were kind of demanding the money at, at first. And I said, well, we're waiting on his, you know, a life insurance money to come through. They're like, okay, well, we'll go ahead and hold off uh, everything until we get that payment. Kristen says she never imagined Swanson would not cremate her dad, even though she soon paid $1,200 for the service. I'm like, okay, it's been two weeks. It's been three weeks since you've you know, my dad passed away. What's going on? O'Neill Swanson II has a long history with the state, and he's been the subject of multiple Seven Action News investigations. What would you say to those families who don't think they got their own loved ones' bodies back? Guys, we're not going to be answering any questions. The state revoked his mortuary science license back in 2018 after they found decomposing bodies at his Flint funeral home. Swanson was also convicted of felony conversion of funds under the Prepaid Funeral and Cemetery Sales Act. That means he's not eligible to hold a controlling interest in a cemetery or crematory, but state officials say he purchased Tri-County Cremation Services in March of 2020 and later launched the Comfort Cremations website. That's about the time Robert Holman started noticing changes at the crematory. To see somebody run something into the ground that way in just a matter of, you know, nine or ten months, it's just, it's, it's kind of sad. Holman has owned the business next door to Tri-County for decades. Over the last few months, things got a little weird and there was more smoke coming out. Lots of walking around the parking lot on your phone kind of stuff. And it just, you know, it's like something doesn't look right. After the initial police raid on June 3rd, Michigan's Department of Licensing and Regulatory Affairs, or LARA, issued cease and desist orders to Swanson, Tri-County, and to Comfort Cremations. But the seven investigators have seen a lot of activity at the crematorium in the weeks since that raid. Advisors are moving truck at that location. And the blood caller does not believe they're supposed to be there. At one point, a rented refrigerated truck showed up. Records show law enforcement had to return when a man reported that Swanson offered him $100 to help move bodies from the building into the truck. Also, Ypsilanti Township code enforcement officials got a search warrant and condemned the building. This email from the township's ordinance supervisor captures the horror of what they found inside, especially with that body from 2018. It says, quote, it's so bad a funeral home who was on site a while ago flat out refused to remove the casket. Sorry, but there are some things I'll never be able to unsee ever. Washtenaw County Sheriff's reports indicate that body from 2018 could be the key to potential felony charges in this case if the body was never interned. I think it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. It's disappointing. I just, uh, it's not something that I can imagine doing to someone else. 
As for Kristen Schmidt, she says it took seven weeks to finally get her father's remains and they had to pay a second funeral home to get him cremated. Now she wants to make sure this doesn't happen to anyone else. Horrible knowing that they did that to him and that they did it to other families, that there were other people, other bodies there. Ypsilanti Township officials moved very quickly to condemn this building and they've been pushing to get it cleaned up. Meanwhile, the Attorney General's investigation into what happened here is still underway. In Ypsilanti Township, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News.